I think that the whole trading industry works in a way that losses are likely. Your broker will probably try to make you trade as much as possible and as fast as possible. He will offer you a bonus to do that. He will give you free advice how to get started right away. The calculation speed is impacted by the number of trades that need to be calculated. The more open positions you have, the longer the software needs. Looking for perfection is what it makes so hard to exactly find that one one fits all trading system that works for everybody. It always depends on the person in front of the screen how the right system would be defined. On January the 15th, 2015, the Swiss franc caused a financial earthquake in the Forex market and several broker companies went out of business. Why do you think that happened? For new developments, I use demo accounts and I encourage all course members to do that for at least three months before they trade on a real account. Once I had a result, I changed one thing and tried to improve that lousy result. If I could do that for one currency pair, I would try to also do it for other currency pairs and other trading years. The trick is to achieve positive results even if the trading conditions are bad. There is a set of instructions in the reference that explains how to build an object-oriented Tetris game inside of MetaTrader. Can you believe that? I mean, who would use a trading account and a trading software to play Tetris? You know what is the best thing about automated trading? Once you have automated something, it is easy to make a few changes and do a strategy test. When you teach your computer how to trade 24 seven exactly according to your rules, that is the one thing that will greatly improve your probabilities for a successful trading result. The reverse test is to do the opposite of what you think is working to prove that it really produces a measurable advantage or disadvantage. Most people kill their account with a too high risk, so it is always a good idea to test and adjust your risk setting carefully. When you think of trading, just think of a sailboat where you would set the sail according to the weather conditions. Think of a car on a frozen lake. You would need to use the steering wheel very carefully or your car would start to drift and break out of the course. Your computer doesn't care about your feelings and that is exactly what makes it a better trader. We probably could increase the risk setting, but why should we do that when everything works well? The important stuff in a system happens after we have opened a position. How do you make decisions? I would suggest that you always pick the same time span for strategy tests because that will make it easy to compare the results. Even with a well-regulated broker in the European Union, you could not always expect to get all your money back in case of an insolvency. Each and every trade influences each trade afterwards. Christopher Columbus missed his destination by several thousand miles, and if his ships had been taken by a storm, nobody would even talk about him.